Now, in Orangeburg County, you may remember officials made security changes following a shooting that happened at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School last August. Now, today, News 19's Nigel Hood has more on the district's updated safety procedures. This August marks one year since the school shooting at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. The Orangeburg County School District says student safety has been top of mind and its enhanced safety measures reflect that. Safety and security of our students is of the utmost importance. We know that we can't do um, the things that we need to do with educating kids unless that is in place first. Bob Grant is the assistant superintendent for operations in the Orangeburg County School District. Since the shooting in August of last year at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School, there are now metal detectors in all of the middle schools in the district. Each metal detector has cameras to photograph everyone who is being screened. Grant says this helps in a situation where someone needs to get located and has made a difference in deterring crime. Probably the thing that makes me feel the best, it acts as a deterrent to a student that may understand that or somebody coming in, I'm going to have to go through the screening process. So um, it's, a, it's a deterrent for, for me to bring anything that I shouldn't have or, um, or to, you know, to plan anything because I know that these procedures and these protocols are in place. Grant says since last spring, the district began working with law enforcement agencies to do enhanced intruder and active shooter drills throughout the district. These drills happen twice a year once in the fall and spring. He says some schools may do lockdown and lockout drills as often as their fire drills that happen once a month. It's not just a one or two time thing. It's, it's, it's all the time. It's on the minds of our administrators, of our district administrators, of our security and our, our law enforcement partners. Clear backpack policies have been implemented in all of the middle and high schools. Additional security has also since been added at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. The district says keeping its students safe has been a collaborative effort, also involving the support of parents. We send out messages to our, our parents and we ask them for their support that they, that they lift as well to say, hey, check your child's book bag, those small things that I believe sends a message of collectiveness. The district says it is preparing to do an active shooter drill this Monday at Edisto High School. Now, since the last day of classes is this Friday, this drill will involve primarily staff, but it does say that there are more drills to come in the next school year. For Street Squad Orangeburg, Nigel Hood, News 19, WLTX. The district says it's been working with law enforcement to have police patrolling school campuses that don't have SROs, including some of the elementary schools. The district works with the Orangeburg Department of Public Safety, the Orangeburg County Sheriff's Office, and the North Police Department to place SROs at schools across the district. Currently, there are 10 SROs in Orangeburg County, and the district hopes that with the help of a grant, they'll be able to hire six more before the next school year.